Hey everybody, Kyle here from Smoking Beaver. Today, I received this Heimvision uh, HD smart Wi-Fi camera. Um, and I ordered this because I wanted to set up a way for me to look at what's going on here in the grow tent um, without me having to be home, without me having to ask someone else to come and check on it. And really without disturbing the plants much, like preferably without even having to open the tent. And this, I believe, is the answer. Plenty of growers use uh, Wi-Fi cameras in their tents, and a friend of mine suggested I should. So I'm going to open this up here for you guys today, and we're going to set it up and see how it is. So the specific model I got here is the HM203. I'll, uh, I'll post the product link on Amazon for you guys to make it easy to go and find it if you're interested in adding this to your grow setup. The main reason I wanted to get this model, first off, it was cheap. I think this is on sale uh, at the time of recording this for like 30 bucks. And it also has a pan and tilt mode, or option, I guess. Um, there's a little motor in there that actually lets you tilt the camera up and down and turn. And that was important for me because I want to be able to actually look around the tent a little bit. And it said like 355 degrees of, of turn there, so that should be pretty good. So opening up this box inside. It's a free gift of some kind. I'll have to look at that later. Just random instructions. Yeah, we'll skip those. Here's the camera. Uh, pretty decent weight to it. It's a pretty light camera. Um, but I guess I'm not expecting too much from it. You can see it does have a little bit of a uh, movement there. So definitely seems like it will turn to some degree. I'll get this thing out of here as well. Pretty simple box, not too much. There's a cable and some mounting tools it looks like. That's pretty sweet. So... Uh, looks like you could probably set up a sort of a mount and have this lifted and sort of hung uh, maybe from a pole in the tent with some zip ties. That would actually be pretty cool. We'll see what sort of a setup we can get going here. So this is all the hardware that comes in the box. Let's uh, get this camera set up in the tent and then I'll show you guys the app that coincides with this. Um, my other thing is I wanted to make sure that I was getting a camera that could do live Wi-Fi uh, streaming right to my phone without having to pay some sort of subscription or pay for some cloud service or anything and uh, This camera looked to fit that you just kind of scan an IR code sets it up in the app apparently and then you can um, Just stream it live to your phone without having to pay anything extra So I did actually decide to use the mounting hardware that came with it I figure it'd be great to zip tie this to one of the poles on the sides of the tent there and uh, that'll give me room to put the camera in without having it clutter the bottom especially you know I only have a 2x2 two two tent so the less I can have on the ground the better um, I kinda did this a little weird but this little bracket here that you see just screws in on the end here I'll show you this piece as you saw comes by itself just like that just goes in there and you can twist it and it locks in there not very much you can just move it a little and it'll pop back out so be careful but that goes in there like that and then you can just screw it into the bracket like that and make sure it's nice and tight. Just remember that will slide out kind of easily so don't be uh, messing with it when the camera's there you might drop it. And then just have it kind of how you want to hang it. I probably actually would rather have it like this. See like that, just make sure it's tight in there. And then just like zip tied to a pole I think that'll do pretty well. And with the panning feature I should be able to look up at the light because that's another thing I want to be able to do is um, you know any time in the day just kind of pan up and look at the light and make sure nothing's you know on fire or something like that so as you can see I have this cord hanging down it's uh, just kind of off camera here there's a port Let's see if I can tilt up and show you uh, there's a port up in the top there in the tent that lets me run wires through. It actually works out pretty well. I can run this cable down and I don't have things cluttering up on the floor. I'm gonna just zip tie this bracket here to the pole and then uh, probably a little lower, probably around there. And then that will let me keep an eye on the plant mainly and hopefully I can pan up enough to see the light but I guess we'll see. So for this I'm just using zip ties. I'm gonna kinda run them through the holes there for the screw so there's a bit of a good grip. And then just hopefully that'll be enough to uh, tighten down on the pole. There's a little metal button there uh, for when you put the tent together and take it apart. And that should hopefully act as a little ledge so that the camera can just sit and not slide down. Well, it's sort of hanging there. It's a little dangly. But I'll probably toss some tape on there just to straighten it out and then uh, we'll call it a day for the mounting.
All right, I've turned the camera on there. Looks like it's moving around and doing something. I've got this QR code open on the phone. Not sure what... Beep in. Please wait for Wi-Fi connecting. Well, sounds like it's doing something. Okay, well... It be please wait for internet connecting. Okay, so it's saying please wait, as you can maybe hear. Um, oh, looks like it's... Internet connected. Welcome to use cloud camera. Alrighty. Well, that sounds good. Hey, device name. Grow tent. All right, well, looks like that worked properly. Let's go ahead and see if it actually does what I need it to do. And there it is. I had to turn off sound or else it's going to start uh, echoing, but you can hear. Hello? It's very quiet. Hello? Very quiet. Hello? Very quiet. Hello? Okay, so it's going to start echoing there, but you can see the back and forth sound does work. There's the image. I'm moving my foot around. It's pretty quick. You can see there's a little bit of a delay, but I mean, that's not bad at all. Let's see how the controls work. Whoa. Interesting. So it would definitely be a little touchy if you're, um, if you're off somewhere else because there's a tad bit of a delay, but it actually looks like it's responding pretty good. All right, so here we are in the full screen mode, which is pretty cool. You can control the camera while getting a bit of a better view. I had a bit of a small brain moment there because I forgot the camera turns much more than it pans up and down or tilts. So instead of having to do this in order to get a better view, I can just spin the camera. You can see it turning all the way around there. We'll do it the other way. It's almost enough to see the light if I can just really there. I mean, that's not too bad. I can see right up at the light and see if there's any sort of finicky stuff going on. If I wanted to adjust it, I could have it uh, possibly up higher, and that way it would let me see the actual, um, like the drivers on top of the light. But honestly, it's good enough for me right now to just be able to see the panel itself and see if there's any sort of malfunction in the uh, diodes. Now, it said there's also a zoom function. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's just a digital zoom, so you don't have to wait for the camera to do anything. You can zoom right in, and uh, that's actually pretty good quality. And this is streaming at all times to my phone, so I could be at a coffee shop or somewhere at a friend's house, turn this on, and take a look at the plant. Honestly, guys, I have to say, this camera is pretty sweet. I was just playing around with some more of the features. You can drag and control the camera like that. If you hold this microphone button... Hello? I just let it go so it doesn't echo, but you can talk through the camera to somebody else no matter where you are, as long as you have Wi-Fi connection. And then that person can talk back as long as you turn on sound. An additional cool thing is uh, if somebody comes in here and opens the tent, as I tested earlier, it will actually send a notification to my phone that there's been movement detected. It will also do the same thing with sound, which is, uh, that's really cool. And you can play with those features and settings. And here's another really cool feature. As you can see, the light in the tent right now is off, and it is pitch black in there as it should be when the light's off. And if you look on my recording, I can still tell what's going on. I can still see the plant. There it is. And this is all IR night vision. So this camera for $30 also has night vision that is very functional. Let's see if I can read the humidity well in night vision mode. Mm, not really. I can almost make it out uh, with my eyes, and the camera it looks horrible uh, on this camera. But yeah, it, it's not really something that I can make out on the screen when night vision is enabled on standard definition. I'm going to go turn the light on and see if I can tell when it's bright. Here's the view with the light on zoomed in, and uh, I can actually make it out. You can see it kind of adjusts every so often as the Wi-Fi stutters, but I can tell it's 48% in there, which by the way is very low. That is not a good humidity. It's just because I had the tent open though. It will, uh, it will go back up. So at least I know when the light is on, I can also check on my environment in the tent. If it's something that uh, interests you having surveillance and being able to check on your plants when you're away from home and just really having the peace of mind that, okay, let me look at the soil right now. Let me see if it maybe needs a water. Let me see if the tent is uh, all in good condition, if it's on fire, if the lights are not working properly. 
it's nice to have this thing in my pocket where I can look and say, okay, we're all good. And it's great that it can just kind of fit up in the corner of the tent away from everything and it keeps the ground nice and tidy, or at least relatively tidy. If you guys are interested in checking this camera out, they weren't a sponsor for this video, but I do really love the product. Um, you can go and hit the link in the description below and um, yeah, just check it out. They have a couple other cameras on there on Amazon too, but this was the best priced one that I could find that still had a, like a bunch of good reviews. Thanks for checking this video out. I hope it was helpful for you guys. I hope it gave you some insight into the products that are available and that they don't have to cost a bunch of money. If you guys like these types of videos and want to see more, hit it with a like. Tell me in the comments what you like, what you don't like. And uh, if you like the content I'm making here on the channel and you feel like supporting me, please consider subscribing. It's free for you and it helps me a lot. Anyway guys, that's it today. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be more to do with this little girl here. Stay safe and have fun. Bye.